Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting videos here on my YouTube channel, Whitney Sews. Today I'm going to be sharing how I created the raccoon costume that my daughter Skylar is going to be wearing for her first Halloween. And my older daughter Peyton is going to be wearing the fox costume that I made last year, so we decided to go with a whole woodland themed. And so Jeremiah is going to be dressing up as a lumberjack and I am probably going to be dressing up as a gnome. So I started by hitting the thrift store and trying to find anything that I could transform into a raccoon costume. I was really hoping to find like a zip-up hoodie and a neutral color, um, but I just couldn't find anything like that. And the only thing I did find was this gray little um, one-piece outfit, and it was in size 12 months. Now my daughter is going to be, um, she's six months, so it's a little bit too big for her, but she's not quite crawling or standing yet, um, so I don't think it's going to be... Um, a bad thing that it's a little bit too big. The outfit did have a lot of embroidery on the front of it and then one patch. I did take the patch off and then the embroidery, there was nothing I could really do about it so I just decided to cover it up and um, the way I did that was with a very large applique that I created. I created that applique by cutting out two large ovals out of flannel that were large enough to cover the embroidered area. And then on one of them I sewed um, some strips of gray fabric to create little stripes. And then I put the two pieces right sides together and sewed all the way around the outer edge. And then um, I just simply cut a slit into the back piece, which was the one that didn't have the stripes. And then I turned it all right side out and top stitch around the outer edge. And that essentially creates a really large applique and I actually show this in detail on my Totoro tutorial. It's the same method that I used to create the detailing on his belly, the little upside down V's. So if you want to see this in actual, um, you know, actually how to do it, then check out that tutorial. It will be linked in the information icon in the upper corner of the screen. So then once I had the applique created, I simply just top stitched it onto the outfit. Then I decided to make a hat and I just took apart a plain baby hat that we had that fit Skylar and created a pattern from it. And then before I sewed it together, I cut the hat out of um, some gray jersey knit and then added the mask detailing. Then I sewed the hat together and right before I sewed it up, I added the ears and then after it was all put together, I added the nose. However, I did forget how much adding details on top of stretchy material really limits the stretch of it. So the hat ended up being um, a little more fitted than I want. It does still fit, but it is a little smaller than I wanted it to be, but it's going to be fine just for one night. Um, so if I was making it again, I would make the hat larger to begin with and then add the detailing. Um, but if you do want to see a tutorial on how to make this style of hat, just the basic hat, not all of the add-ons, um, let me know in the comments below because I can do a tutorial on that. It's a really interesting style. I hadn't seen one like it before. Um, so it's, it's really fun that I took this hat apart and learned how to make it. So that is the raccoon costume. I did not add a tail, even though it would have been super cute with a tail, because I wanted Skylar to be comfortable and be able to sit in her car seat wearing this costume. Make sure you're following me on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll have links below for both of those, because I'm sure I'll be posting lots of Halloween pictures, so you can see all of our costumes over on those two sites. I hope you enjoyed all of the Halloween tutorials and videos that I put up this year. If you didn't get a chance to see all of them, there will be a Halloween playlist linked below. And also make sure you're subscribed and show this channel some love with either a like or a share. And don't forget to come back next week for another tutorial, and I will see you all again soon. Happy sewing!